Good evening, my name is Christina Scott and I'm the Chargé d'Affaires at the British Embassy in Beijing. I want to start by thanking Tsinghua University and China Youth Climate Action Network for inviting me here today to speak to you all in the room and those watching online at the start of the fifth Model Climate Change Conference of Parties. The United Kingdom is a passionate advocate of the Paris Agreement. We were the first country in the world to set long-term legally binding emissions reductions targets through the Climate Change Act in 2008. And last year we went further, committing in law to end the UK's contribution to global warming entirely with a target to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Next year, the UK and China have a unique opening to cooperate for the global good. China will host the Biodiversity COP15 in Kunming, and the UK is hosting the Climate Change COP26 in Glasgow. In Glasgow, the world will meet to agree ambitious climate action. And China is already helping to lead the way with President Xi's announcement recently that China will achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. I believe the UK and China must work together to inject momentum into the negotiations and uphold the multilateral framework for tackling climate change. The UK government is adopting an all of society approach to COP26. We want business, civil society and young people to be the driving force behind that real world action that supports our shared climate goals. I admire your passion for climate change action. The voice of a diverse range of young people around the world is a powerful catalyst for climate ambition. And I believe there couldn't be a more exciting time to be starting out on your careers working on climate change and environment. So I hope you will have a very, very successful conference. Please have fun, build consensus, and please show the real life climate negotiators on all sides how it should be done.